This is the dramatic moment when Ukrainian troops use drones to attack the trenches where Russian troops are hiding, and Russian combat equipment in the ongoing counteroffensive. The Russian army recently became the target of a drone attack on Bakhmut as the Ukrainian city is still on the front lines of the war. In May, Ukrainian forces had to withdraw from Bakhmut, but the battle for this completely destroyed city in the Donbass region continues, as a key part of the counteroffensive. In this footage, you can see Ukrainian drone operators dropping bombs on their targets on the Bakhmut side. In the first attack, drones are seen dropping bombs into a trench where Russian soldiers are hiding. Russian soldiers are seen firing at Ukrainian drones from the trench before the drones drop bombs inside their trench, causing a large explosion and smoke to billow into the air. Later footage shows what appeared to be a Russian tank destroyed after Ukrainian troops dropped a grenade into the hatch with precision shots. Other footage shows, during a night raid a Ukrainian drone operator can be seen dropping bombs on a group of eight Russian infantrymen who were seen in one of the clearings. Although cumulative ammunition was being prepared for the equipment, the decision was made to destroy the target, which was carried out by the operator. In addition, using a kamikaze drone or FPV drone as it is often called, in this footage you can see a Ukrainian FPV drone seen tracking Russian troops before detonating them in a big explosion. At the same time, another FPV drone was seen wiping out five Russian soldiers aboard a BMP infantry fighting vehicle that was driving along the road. Other footage shows, thanks to a reconnaissance drone, a Ukrainian FPV drone operator is seen destroying a Russian T-72 tank. In the footage it looks like it took several accurate hits to get rid of this technique completely. As a result of successful actions, an expensive Russian armored vehicle unit was destroyed. In this footage, you can also see a Ukrainian FPV drone destroying the Russian radar station, Zupark-1. The armed forces of Ukraine spotted the Zupark-1 radar in the fields of the Bakhmut region with the help of a reconnaissance drone. The reconnaissance drone operator tracked the Russian equipment as it advanced to its new position on the edge of the estate. Then relays the coordinates to the FPV drone operator, who launches a precise attack and destroys the station. The general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces reported that Russia had lost around 260,820 troops in Ukraine including 550 in the past day. Between the 24th of February 2022 to date, Russia's total combat losses also include 4,396 tanks, 8,554 armored fighting vehicles, 5,403 Russian artillery systems and other combat equipment. Meanwhile, after months of hellish fighting against Russia's assault on the city over winter and spring, Ukraine's summer campaign around Bakhmut has been one characterized by much good news and optimism on the outside. The Bakhmut area is commonly seen as one of the three main axes of the Ukrainian summer counteroffensive, along with the two main pushes on the southern front line. While attacks in the south stalled for weeks at a time, Ukrainian forces regularly mounted successful assaults on Russian positions near Bakhmut, especially on the southern flank, where the key settlement of Klishchivka is now contested again after falling to Russia back in winter. Unlike on the Southern Front, where the counteroffensive has been spearheaded by newly formed units who spent months training, often abroad, advances around Bakhmut are achieved by some of Ukraine's most battle-hardened units, most of which have fought in these same sectors of the line at least since the beginning of winter. For those fighting here, beneath the newfound momentum on the battlefield lies a candid and unglamorous outlook on the future of the war. In world media, Noise continues to build about whether or not the Ukrainian counteroffensive has already failed to meet its goals, and if so, who is to blame? But among soldiers here on the Bakhmut front, the word counteroffensive itself is treated with indifference if spoken at all. Whether or not it is considered part of Ukraine's great summer push, the fighting here is, in many ways, 
Just more what it has been for a year already, assaults, counterattacks, close quarters firefights, all under a sky teeming with drones and artillery fire from both sides. The only difference is that now, it is Ukraine that has the initiative, but that doesn't make things any easier. Rather, the ongoing battles around Bakhmut give an idea of what a longer, attritional war may look like once the counteroffensive culminates, and of the increased human price Ukraine must pay to liberate every new settlement, every new trench, every new kilometer of its land.